Hi, my name is Amanda, an a &E paramedic and director of Adopt an AD. And I'm going to talk to you about why people may be washing their hands in the wrong way. When people don't wash their hands correctly, they leave themselves susceptible to germs. By ensuring their hands are washed properly, you ensure that germs that can cause harm, like E. coli and Salmonella, as well as the cold and flu viruses, especially the recent coronavirus, are washed away properly. By not carrying out the proper hand washing routine, you risk putting yourself and others at risk. There are quite a few common mistakes that people make. These include, but are not restricted to, not washing for long enough, not washing the creases in your hands, not drying thoroughly enough, washing hands only after using the toilet, not using soap and using hand sanitizer, touching other surfaces after washing your hands, not rinsing with a bar of soap prior to using it or using a refilled dispenser and the mistake of using hot water. Most of these are self-explanatory, however the last two points will probably raise a few questions so let me explain. Hot water is promoted as a good way to kill bacteria from our hands from a young age, but the truth is cold or tepid water will do the same job. Using cold or tepid water is actually better for your skin and causes less irritation and drying out. For hot water to kill bacteria, it has to boil to 100 degrees Celsius to see a significant effect. It is definitely not a good idea to put water at this temperature on your skin, so stick to tepid or cold water. A study by the Applied and Environmental Microbiology was conducted in 2011 and the results were quite surprising. This study was to test whether the refillable dispensers transferred bacteria when using it. The study was corroborated and demonstrated a 26-fold increase in numbers of bacteria present on the hands after washing with contaminated soap from bulk soap refillable dispensers. It goes on further to say that those dispensers refilled with a sealed refill had no bacterial transfer. If you would like to read the study, please see the link below. Hopefully this will help you all understand where people go wrong with their hand washing. And I hope this has clarified any confusion. Please click below in the links and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. If you have any questions, please feel free to check out our frequently asked questions or alternatively contact us directly at www.adoptanaed.co.uk and we'll be happy to assist any way we can. On behalf of Adopt an AED, adopt, register, respond.